The Daywalker enters the Marvel Cinematic Universe almost 20 years after its last appearance on the big screen. Are you ready for a vampire hunt? The upcoming Blade movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is finally on schedule after a very, very, very long wait. Since the 2008 launch of the franchise, Marvel Studios has had the freedom to introduce a variety of heroes thanks to the MCU's popularity. Despite years of Marvel films coming before the MCU, their appearances marked the big screen debuts of the comic characters in many cases. Another title scheduled for an MCU makeover is Blade the Vampire Slayer. Fans have been eagerly anticipating his return, but now they can all relax because the superhero, who's also half vampire and half human, is returning to fight back evil. Wesley Snipes fully revived the character in the Blade movie trilogy, a remarkable series of blockbusters that we continue to watch even today. The character first made an appearance in comic books 50 years ago as a supporting character. Fans of comic books will remember him from his debut in The Tomb of Dracula, a comic book published in 1973. Eric Brooks is an orphan whose mother died after being bitten by a vampire. Because she was in labor with him at the time, Blade was immune to becoming a bloodthirsty creature. However, the loss of his mother when he was a baby will haunt him in the future. His days are filled with rage and all he wants is revenge for his late mother. Blade made his first appearance on the big screen in 1998 with the release of the first film in the trilogy. The movie marked a turning point and helped establish Blade as a genuine legend. Of course, none of this would have happened if Wesley Snipes, who by the way, was in his prime at the time, had played the role. He's the real reason Blade turned into a genuine legend and built up such a huge fan base worldwide. Blade's official release date hasn't been announced by Marvel Studios, but given that production is set to begin in July, it might be released as early as the summer or fall of 2023. The average time between the start of production and the release of a Marvel Studios film is 12 to 18 months, though the pandemic extended that period slightly. Bade will likely soon secure a 2023 release date and join Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Regardless of how long it takes for production to wrap up, Blade will probably use one of the three 2023 slots that Marvel currently has available for unspecified movies. Even though it's still a while off, the studio has been planning this reboot since all the way back in 2013, so what's a little extra time, right? Looks like I've finished my father's job. And it certainly seems like the new Blade will be a wonderful movie whenever it finally hits theaters. Who will play Blade in the new film was the main concern for the fans. Wesley Snipes is no longer the same person he was in his early 20s, and it's obvious that his days as Blade are over. All Blade fans were even more thrilled when Marvel revealed that Mahershala Ali will be portraying Blade. Ali approached Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige after his Oscar-winning performances in Moonlight and Green Book to express his interest in playing Eric Brooks in the MCU. At the time, Marvel had no plans to make Blade, but Ali's skill and interest made it simple for Feige to consider. The only character who has been formally confirmed for the film, given where we are in the production, is Ali's Blade. It's possible that some other heroes and antagonists from the shared universe may appear, though given that the new film will need to incorporate the character into the MCU. The obvious choices would be Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch or Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange. Marvel's Midnight Sun supergroup, which included the greatest supernatural heroes in comic book history, included both Strange and Blade. Could there be a Midnight Sun's reunion in the MCU? Perhaps, who knows? It would be intriguing if the Scarlet Witch appeared in Blade after her downfall in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. In relation to cameo appearances by other heroes, you know what could be amazing? If Deadpool appeared in the upcoming Blade film. Okay, I'm si okay, seriously now. It's in the meat of my butt, just below the Hello Kitty tattoo. Reynolds played Hannibal King in the third Blade film, Blade Trinity, and you just know that if Wade and Blade met, that would be used as a punchline. Putting wishful thinking aside, we'll just have to wait and see what actors are cast in the film. After all, in the comics, Blade has had a long list of allies, enemies, allies who became enemies, and enemies who became reluctant allies. Anyone could show up, including Deacon Frost and the legendary Dracula. There isn't much information currently available about Marvel's Blade, but some rumors claim that Fallon Gray, the daughter of Blade, will make her debut. There have been rumors that the 14-year-old actress, Milan Ray, 
has been chosen to play a major role in the upcoming Marvel film. Many believe that she'll play Fallon Gray, a character who will play a significant role in the MCU. Fans are hoping that the film will provide more information about Blade's origins and how he became a vampire hunter. Delroy Lindo is apparently going to portray Jamal Afari, the person who raised Eric Brooke and did teach him how to kill vampires, based on various leaked information. According to this information, we might see scenes from Blade's past, possibly even when he was a child. We are aware of the character's comic book origin, which may serve as the inspiration for the upcoming movie. When Blade's mother was carrying him, a vampire attacked her. The woman passed away while in labor, but gave birth to a special Eric Brooks, a half-human, half-vampire child. Eric grew up, took the name Blade, and began to use his daywalker abilities to hunt down other vampires. Given that the first Blade movie was released more than 20 years ago, the new movie might provide a recap of this origin tale so that new fans can stay up to date. However, it's also possible that the MC will skip the backstory and dive right into the action. The character of Blade could also be introduced in a previous film before being further explored in a standalone film. There is no reason to believe that the strategy wouldn't work for Blade, just as it did for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. In any case, following the canon of the comics won't be a major concern for the reboot, at least that's what the film's director, Basam Tariq, has said so far though. When Kit Harington's Dan Whitman receives a warning from Mahershala Ali's Eric Brooks not to use the Ebony Blade in the post credit scene of Eternals, it was a big tease for the upcoming Blade movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Although Ali's voice is only heard in the brief cameo, this is the Daywalker's official debut in an MCU film. More importantly, this passage from Eternals offers hints as to what might occur and who might appear in Blade. The Ebony Blade, also known as the Dark Counterpart to the legendary Excalibur in Marvel Comics, grants godlike abilities at the expense of amplifying the wielder's bloodlust. With each new kill, both the sword and the wielder become stronger. The Ebony Blade is deadly enough in Dane Whitman's hands as the Black Knight, whose Arthurian bloodline makes him essentially immortal while holding up the sword, but it could be even deadlier if used alongside the Daywalker. This, coupled with excitement for the new film, has given rise to fan theories about why Blade desires Dan and Dane Whitman's sword, which may be what the Eternals post credit scene was hinting at. Briefly put, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. There are a variety of ways for Blade to carve out a unique new niche in the ongoing MCU Phase 4 storylines, and there's also room for many other eagerly anticipated Marvel characters to make their MCU debut. See you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>